Hello everybody, this is B, and we are playing Cryptid Crush. I found this on um, uh, itchio.com. Um, it's in still development. I thought it looked really cool because it was Cryptid Crush. Okay, we're gonna start a new game. Oh my god, it's got voice acting. Hello? Oh my god, this is so cool. Dude, I, I know it would never happen, but I wish the developers would let me be a cryptid. cryptid. I, I would be so excited. You can speak, can't you? I can speak. Wonderful. In any case, I'm going to ask, what's your name? B. Oh. I don't know. I know. I don't want to give y'all my actual name. Bumble. Big Bumble. <laughs> Alright, I'll keep that in mind. Oh god, what did I do? Now what would you like to be addressed as? She, her? <gasps> I like the pronouns. Also, game difficulty, what kind of... Now, how would you like... Good choice. Okay. Now, how would you like to be she, her. Good choice. I like that. They give you voices and your pronouns. Uh, let's go human easy for right now. Uh, those who like a sense of self tend to disinterrogate. Great upon entry into the realm of existence. I'm just here to help jog your memory. Oh yeah, that'd be helpful. Okay. Oh, great. Let's just zoom through the questions. So tell me about yourself. What's your preferred type of beverage? Broccoli water. If I, it's water that fights back. Water. Soda. Connect. Concoction. I call it fizzy killer. Herbal tea. Less about the drink and more about the presentation. I'm 70% iced coffee at this point. Um. I'm not really. I drink iced tea, but this is just like simple herbal tea. I don't really drink that. Uh, probably the phys fizzy killer. Name one of your greatest weaknesses. Lower back pain, never believed in bad luck, all of them, pretty scatterbrained. I got noodle arms. I'm between these two. Um, I'm gonna go with pretty scatterbrained. What's something you're ignoring right now? Exercising, just how hungry I am. Wouldn't you like to know, moth boy? Taking the necessary provocations to prevent prevent my mirror doppelganger from replacing me at night. Thanks, that's nice to think about. What would you say is your strongest quality? I try to be patient with myself. I can admit when I'm wrong. I don't know, but I'm, I certainly exist. I can admit when I'm wrong. If you had an entire day to yourself, where would you spend it? I'm baking a loaf of bread. I don't view time as a currency, so no, I don't spend it. If you were cryptid, what would you be? Please, 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 please. Oh, alien. Sea monster, space alien, werewolf, please. Perhaps a ghost one day. I don't know. Any of them, really. I kind of want to be an alien. I want to be werewolf, too, though. Alien's cool, though. Great. Interesting. Uh, now, how do you envision yourself? Change hair length. Change... Toggle hair. Wait, can I not? Okay, that's all I get. Facial hair or no? Toggle glasses. Change coat color. Purple. More? Toggle beanie. Toggle hairpin. Ah, oh, alien. Choker, eyeliner. Or. I kind of like the poof. Okay. I'm done. Whoa! Whoa, what? What is happening? Whoa, excuse me. Why is it doing this? 
Why was it doing that? What just happened here? It just slammed me into this. I didn't even get to read any of that. Jeez. I don't know what happened there, but that was wild. Taro finally lands on your shoulder as you're- what? Oh, okay. On your shoulder as you reach your car and nips your ear. Ow! You try to brush the phantom cat off your shoulder, but your hand sweeps right through her. Got you. You flick on the headlights before backing up and pulling onto the street. Are you sure Atlas is going to be any help? Taro keeps her little paws tucked under her fluff like a fuzzy bread loaf. You know what they say about Mothman? Excuse me? That they're bad omens? Bingo. Omen or not, I could use all the help I can get. Right, that nasty curse. You should really get that checked out. Isn't that your job? That's cute. You don't expect me to work on the empty stomach, do you? I'm feeling faint. Also, by the way, the reason I'm playing this is because it's Halloween, so you know, spooky scary. Do you need me to stop and get you something? Oh no, don't worry about me. I'll survive. You're the one dealing with that wretched curse, not me. I don't feel any different. Oh, 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 you will, and it's gonna be agonizing. You never mentioned that. I didn't want to scare you. Even describing this curse brings about evil. So you can't get rid of it, you can't even talk about it, and it's gonna be excruciating. Is there anything else you forgot to tell me? Well, there's a countdown. A countdown? That's right. It's a countdown to your immediate demise. That's not funny. <laughs> I'm not joking, silly. How much time do I have? That's for a cat to know and a physician to find out. But that's why you're here, right? Being a cosmic guardian and all? You're meant to protect me. Absolutely. Your phone chimes buzzing to the cup holder. Where are you? I'm on my way. Jeez, unlike you, most of us can't fly. You fell back asleep, didn't you? I'm not nocturnal. Not with that attitude. So, do you see the station? Laying forward, you glance upwards towards the distant radio tower, cutting through the, the night air. I think so. Is it just the three of us? Depends. How cool are you with devils? Pretty cool. Why? I have a friend who just got off work and was wondering if they could tag along. I figured I'd ask you first. Yeah, I am definitely feel safer in a larger group. Sweet. Okay, that was not the sound I expected out of the Mothman. Sweet. See you soon. Don't forget about the phantom frequency. Channel 103.1 Alcorn Radio. I got it. I got it. Great. The thunk. The sound of feathers brushing against the microphone and the audio fizzes out before Atlas squeaks. Sorry, I hit a lamp post. Uh, I'll meet up with you soon. Drive safe. Atlas hangs up. You picture Atlas wildly fluttering around a giant light bulb and then it dawns on you. I forgot my flashlight. Looks like we'll need to make that pit stop and snack run. Rolling into view is a dingy looking gas station named Owl's Owl's Owl Nighter. Dozens of sun bleached local ads plaster the foggy store windows, weeds spouting through the cracks in the cement. This place looks safe enough, right? It well it's well lit at least. A pleasant jingle echoes into the night air as the door leading out of the roadside mini-mart swings open. You walk out into the starlight carrying a convenient store sushi roll and a cheap flashlight. That sushi was suspiciously underpriced. <laughs> you heard it, that sushi was suspiciously underpriced. You hold the receipt up to the neon open sign, eyeing it closely. <laughs> oh well. Hmm. Oh well. You shuffle back to your car, bounty in tow, and gaze over the horizon. 
You haven't had a moment to yourself since the cat practically poofed into existence. Opening the car door, you plop down the bag of groceries with a bit of a huff. Your car catches a little restrained sound of claws scraping against leather. The sound of some terrible creature trying to hide her de devilry? Tara? You goblin! That's my car! <laughs> Tara splays her paws and stretches dragon claws, claws across his car seat. Oh well, as my uh, meow there always said, the word, the world is your scratching post. I'll consider sparing your car's interior if you offer me something I want. She tilts her head to the side and closes her eyes expectantly. You roll your eyes and reach over, gently scratching Taro's behind the ear. She oddly, she's oddly cold for a big fuzzy cat. You're a real handful, Taro. Seriously, what kind of cat drags me out past midnight for some expired sushi? We have places to be. Any angel, of course. Or that's what I call myself anyway. You do know I'm not just a normal cat, right? Meow. Paw over the goods. You peel off the plastic wrap and slide it towards the demanding cat. You turn the key in the ignition, the, car, the old car's rattling to life. We better get going before I totally chicken out. The car drives off, peeling out of the convenience store parking lot and down the dimly lit streets of the Long Hope. Taro scarfs down the last bit of sushi, licking specks of rice off her nose. Aren't we on the lookout for that phantom frequency? Ah, yeah. You slide your hand over to the dash and click on the stereo. The radio whirls whirs on with harsh static as it switches between frequencies until it reaches 103.1. The static is cut with a crisp and peppy tune, cueing the start of some sh sort of radio show. I'm gonna turn this up for you guys. I don't mean to miss anything. What's that? Seems my producer's letting me know that I am, in fact, dead. <laughs> Thanks, Stephanie. Thanks. So, before we get started, I just wanted to give a shout out to all my listeners. It is your support that keeps this show alive. So, as a thank you, I'll be starting tonight's show with some fan mail.
guess. Ah! What the um, heck? What the heck? Wait. Atlas? The one and only. Oh, I thought I'd scope out the perimeter before diving right in. After his dramatic entrance, Atlas shakes out his glossy feathers and flaps his large wings. His antennas twitch as he stands on one leg, poking Taro with one of his hind claws. So, is this the spirit you mentioned? Huh. I kind of expected something, um, more impressive. Taro fluffs up, her whiskers standing on end as she hisses. I am a great and powerful cosmic guardian! She bites one of the Mothman's talons. <laughs> if I had a pig, I'd want a raven familiar. Too bad ravens hate me. Alice spins down and scoops the flashlight off the ground. Here, sorry for startling you. Breaking through the greenery, a single blue flame casts on eerie light over a large, imposing demon striding into the clearing. A heavy pair of bolt cutters resting on their hip. Sorry to keep you waiting. Ah, it seems everyone's hip. I've got to be joking. Atlas, can you go a day without mentioning your insectoid parts? I don't mind, really.
You have got to be joking. Idiotic. We're trespassers. What do you think about this, B? Both Jamie and Atlas turn to you, expecting you to settle whatever this is. Jamie's right. We might find something useful, like the vault of haunt haunted treasure or a portal to a ghost dimension. Atlas, think of all the exclusive merch. You could totally ask for an autograph. You think so? Actually, let's check out the record room. There's gotta be some shiny collector of
unfortunately. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!